They didn't see you there. I'm just getting ready for Christmas a little bit early. Come on, let me show you. Hey guys, and welcome back. I know the comments are about to go absolutely wild. Roll Builder, it's barely after Halloween. Roll Builder, why Christmas already? Guys, just hear me out. Tis the season to rack in the revenue and holiday updates are very important. If you wait too long, you'll get a holiday update out, but it'll be buggy. Maybe the build won't be that great. Maybe you don't have time for revisions, guys. A Christmas update for a game I'm hired to work on. Not my game, but guys, it's it's Christmas time. All right, guys, first things first, you cannot have an update without some assets. So I've made a little list of all the assets that we're going to need to make, and all of these are Christmas themed. So anything to add into a map, that can help bring the uh, bring the holiday vibe, the holiday spirit to the map. And uh, let's just get started. I'm probably gonna skip past most of this to keep the video not three and a half hours long. I'm gonna get all this in studio and colored, and then we're gonna draw out sort of a little idea of how we wanna lay out this map. All right, guys, everything is colored. As you can see here, we've got our gingerbread house, candy cane, gumdrops, icicles, star, trees, Christmas tree, and presents. And we have the size of what GG wants this map to be. This is an event zone, and it's almost as big as one of those zones, which have three areas. This one's just one. Uh, we just kind of draw stuff out and see if we like it, right? So he did say he wants a big frozen lake, which is nice for us. That takes up a lot of space. And uh, that will be more of a gameplay area. All of these tan things will be gingerbread houses. All of these will be rocks with snow on them, mixed with whatever I make the border. Not sure how I'm gonna do that for this zone yet. And then I know I want it to step down. So you can't really see a lot of depth from this at this point, but you can see the basic idea. We have candy canes, gingerbread houses, uh, a center here with the big Christmas tree, etc. We've got our idea. Now all that's left is to get building. I would say, first things first, let me grab a cylinder it's not going to be the final thing for this lake, but it definitely does let us get the size of it down. Now, I want to duplicate our base part here, and I actually want it to come up so we don't have as flat of a map. However, that might be too tall up. Let's get our dummy. We could definitely do some steps as well, which could look nice. We'll go something about right here and then steps on both sides. So we're going to drag this in and we'll duplicate it out on the edges. I'm thinking something like this. Like this is actually like pretty decent for me. The main things that my maps lack when I first build them is height changes or elevation changes. And that's definitely something I'm trying to get better at. So we've got this, which is looking decent. Now we can grab all of the bases here and turn those maybe back to like a brown. This is really gonna help break up the colors of the snow zone. Another thing I wanna do is add in some borders. Let's go see if my asset pack has anything we can use. I know we have a lot in this and actually one thing that I wanted to use and that's this one. I think it'll look pretty good and I haven't used it in any other projects yet. So it's kind of a win-win. Definitely wouldn't be bad to have some rocks. For now, we'll just take some of these winter assets. We got to make sure that everything is matching though. So the greens that we're using in this build is sea green. Nice. And honestly, most of the tops of these are going to be snow. And for that, we're using this light blue. However, I will make one variant that is a brown with some grass. Maybe we'll keep it brown with snow, actually. I think that looks pretty good. I've been on this kick of really separating things like, like this, for example. It's a hard cut into this, like, whatever, right? This mountain side thing, cliff side. But if you use something like this, you can really cover up a lot of that, like, just impact, I guess. I don't really know what to call it, but you can really cover it up quite well. Change that to our snow color and there we go. Now, real quick, I'm going to use all of these props and kind of just set the scene. First things first is this Christmas tree, which has to be the center point of everything. It's got to be big. For now, I'll paste all of these presents under there. We can decide how we want to put those later on. Let's get the gingerbread house to scale for the characters. Looks like something around there is quite nice. And I also have this snow underneath it. 
So I'm gonna duplicate that and we're gonna have one without the snow, one with the snow, just to kind of keep that variation going. I think it would actually be best to do the paths first and then build around those. So let's do that. If you're an OG, you already know how we're making the paths, guys. And I think I wanna go like a little bit bigger even. Something like this. I'm thinking a path kinda like this. It looks pretty decent to me and uh, I think it'll work. Let's group that together. I'm gonna call it path part and then all we have to do is use Archimedes. So if you don't know, there's a plugin called Archimedes and it just lets you kind of copy and paste an object, but perfectly connected to what you're copying. As you can see, it works pretty good. I think we are going to flip axis, go out this way a little bit, and then flip axis again, start coming back in, and we wanna line it up pretty much in the center of this one, just how we left that one. And then we can work on something that goes around the tree. Yeah, I'm not too mad at that. Now we can start pasting in some gingerbread houses. Let's make sure to close Archimedes. I know I want a snow one right front and center. I also like when the snow overhangs the path just a little bit. I don't know why, and some people might hate it, but I really do. I just feel like it adds more of that uh, organicness. That is most definitely not a word. I'm gonna do the same thing in the back, guys. We're gonna have two snow ones, and I might even do the same on the sides, and then we could put the ones without snow sort of in the middle. The goal is to block in this area, or at least that's what I feel like the, uh, the brief was. Put one more over here, and just like that, guys, we have a bit of a spawn. Now we're going to need to add in a bunch of colors that will be with our presents, our icicles, our candy canes, etc. Honestly, the map's coming together very quickly. Man, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's like, I don't know, 1 1.30 in the morning. I had to give me some waffles, man. I guess if you're enjoying the video, if you're enjoying the video so far, you could, uh, you could jingle the bell or drop a like. I don't know, man. This might not be the best time to have waffles, but they taste incredible. So instead of brush tooling everything like I was gonna, I went ahead and made some border progress. The rest of this now is getting like more snow mounds in more places because I honestly, like, these things are just so OP. I don't even know. Like, you could scale them out, stretch them however you want, and it just makes things look more natural. I'm gonna place these everywhere, all over this thing, and it's legit just gonna fill it more up with snow. And uh, what else do we really need, guys? Like, it's a snow zone. Now, we have candy canes that we can still use. That's nice. We have rocks we can still use which will definitely help. What else do we got? We have some trees. Oh yeah, this should actually shape up pretty nice. The candy cane, I wish I made it a little bit shorter, so I'll probably sink them into the ground a little bit, but we can figure that out later. We're gonna shrink it down a little bit, and I guess first things first, we'll do the rocks. Now we will grab all of those and we're just gonna drag them down. So they're actually somewhat in the ground. And then we'll delete these three. Up next, we have our candy canes, which I am, uh, actually we should probably do trees next. We're gonna do trees and then we'll do candy canes. There's something so satisfying about, uh, just like the trees and rocks because you can place however many you want and there's not like a wrong answer. The more like strange it is, the more organic it is. There's really not a wrong answer when it comes to placing like snow, trees, rocks, border styles, literally anything. Like, look at this. This place is really starting to come along. I may texture the gingerbread houses just to add a little bit, but we'll see. I think that is enough trees for now. Let's deactivate the brush. Let's take our trees out. And let's put our candy cane in. That's, whoa, that's too many. We'll go back and delete some here in a moment. Two over here, one here, one here, and one here. Come on, give me a candy cane somewhere over there. It's not liking it. My spacing is a little too high. So we'll go ahead and add some around the outskirts and deactivate brush. Let's go ahead and close the brush tool and try to figure some stuff out. So there's this. We do also have this star which uh, we may do something with, I'm not sure. And we have our icicles, I forgot about those. That's gonna be even more detail that we get to add to this build. Grab all of the ice spikes, move them down just a hair, and then delete these two, don't need them anymore. I don't think the star is gonna be needed for anything else other than the top of the tree. 
So I think we're gonna just get rid of that one. This is getting there. It still needs something. We're gonna add some snow. We need to add in our gumdrops. Where are those? Did I delete them? I didn't. They are just very, very small. All right, guys. So for the gumdrops, I will have to place them by hand because you can use the brush tool, but it's just not going to be that great. All I'm going to do is grab one, drag it, and then go to the next color, grab, drag, and I'm going to follow the paths. All right, guys. I'm not entirely sure if we have any snowy presets. Let's see. Warm no see no spooky snowy would you look at that all right let's load this up and see how it looks why do plugins change where they are in the bar I i'm just saying all right so here's our snowy preset it's a good base but definitely needs a little bit of work and by a little bit i mean a lot ambient cook that up let's let's get a little brighter out here okay color shift bottom no cook that up too Put a little bit of a blue tint. Let's put this to a 0.4 because uh, one is kind of crazy. And uh, let's see, I think that's fine for that. Our atmosphere here, density, we want it to be still pretty fun. Uh, I think I'm gonna do like a 0.2. Clouds, I mean, that's just our skybox, which I think looks fine for this zone. Uh, I personally like a little bit brighter, so I may change that. Our color correction, contrast minus one is crazy. Uh, you would never want to kill contrast in a game. Like, uh, nah, nah. Contrast is actually very important. All right, guys. So here is the map so far. Now that I'm in game, this green definitely seems like a bit too much. We may have to change that. Make these mounds green and the ground snow. Or we'll just have to make it all snow. I think this looks pretty good overall. I can't even lie. We definitely need a texture on the gingerbread houses. Like, it's gotta happen. I mean, they just look a little bit too plain. I like the gumdrops. I do like the layout of this map. Like, actually pretty good. We also didn't build the steps. That's something that we're gonna, we're gonna need to do. <laughs> but overall, guys, I think the layout turned out pretty good. And sizing feels good. Everything feels just pretty nice. All right. Uh, I kind of like this. I used concrete, which I mean, once you know it's concrete, it sells it a little short. But if I didn't say it was concrete and you were just playing the game, I think that's actually a pretty decent texture for what we got going on there. I would love to add in some color like gold and then hear me out, guys. Add in a red carpets i don't think i'm too mad at that i think they look pretty good other than the path not lining up so we will need to fix that but other than that i think i like the steps only one we need to fix is this one over here which won't be the biggest deal guys we will group this together and pull it out of the model just so it doesn't confuse archimedes and now we just adjust just like that guys render it in and scale it down and there we go not too bad check it out guys we have our gingerbread houses which look decent i definitely could have added a little bit more detail on them and i may but for now they definitely get the point across Got some nice rocks, our Christmas tree, which we need to festive up these presents. Honestly, guys, I think I'm pretty proud of this map. If Gigi wants anything changed, of course, every time he asks for something, it's for the better. So I won't be too upset, but I think he's actually going to love this. I am going to have to turn this transparency to none just so we're not seeing through it. But I like the map, I think. We're actually done with this one now that is going to wrap up the building portion of this video let me know are you excited for the holiday season or are you just ready for 2023 to be over but for the people who stayed for this what i'm guessing is going to be a pretty long video here is three questions from the previous video if you want to see your question in the next one make sure to drop one down below. Question number one is from so slick 8412 and they say, what's the hardest build that you have ever made in a Roblox studio slash blender? I gotta be honest, I can't say anything is like hard. Like it, there's time consuming and annoying, which most people would consider hard, but it's so tough for me to say something is hard. Um, I gotta say, I did a commission for LG, okay? Uh, the LG Electronics. This was maybe two years ago, a year ago, it, it was a while ago, and nothing in the commission was super hard, but dealing 
with LG, like just dealing with them. They didn't know what they wanted in a Roblox game. Uh, so they gave us what they, what they wanted. And then every time we were done, we would get, and this is not an exaggeration. This is 100%. We would get a revision request book, like, like 60, 70, like 40 to 70 pages of revision requests, guys. I And it happened like over and over. And then my number one pet peeve, bro, when they're like, hey, can you change this to this? And this isn't just LG, this is anyone who does this to me. And GG, I know you're gonna do it just because I said it, but look, uh, when someone's like, okay, can you change this to this? And then after you do the change and you spend, you know, however long, they're like, ah, never mind. I liked it before. Oh, that really grinds my gears, man. That, oh my. I know it wasn't the most direct answer, but thanks for the question. Next one is from OllieXX. Do you think when the game is finished, there can be a bike of the week? and stuff like that. Yes, there will be a lot of community engagement with the dream game. I have so many plans. I just, I, oh, I have so much bad news too, but I'm not gonna get into bad news, guys. This is the jolly times, okay? Yes, there's gonna be bike of the weeks. There is gonna be montage competitions for Robux. There's gonna be uh, art contests. There's gonna be best trick contests. Like, I have so many ideas, man, and I'm so excited about that game. Our last question for today is from Ragnability4232. What things does F3X building plugin have, which the Roblox Studios version doesn't have? Uh, honestly, not much. There's one specific feature I use on F3X, and that is to scale multiple things at once. On Roblox, if you select five parts, and you want to scale all of them down like this, it's going to scale them all down proportionally. On F3X, it will scale down just the side you're picking, and that's pretty much all I use F3X for, man. It, it comes in clutch when you really need it, but do you use it all the time? Definitely not.